Simple Cyber Defense Podcast Weekly Updates for January 18th, 2020. Welcome back to the Simple Cyber Defense Podcast. Today is January 18th, 2020. This week, the biggest news was the end of support for Windows 7. Windows 7 was released in July 22nd, 2009, and all support has ended for the software in January 14th of 2020. So many people are asking, what can we do since Microsoft is no longer going to be supporting or sending out security updates to this OS anymore? So what does this mean? For the average user, this means that Windows 7 is now becoming a security risk. The longer you use it, the more open you are to attacks and, and uh, viruses and other security risks. So the biggest thing to do here is to get off of Windows 7 if it is all feasible. The main reason why people have stuck around with Windows 7 for so long is they do not like Windows 10. But because the support is ended, it is very critical to get off the OS. So there are three major things that you can do here. You have the choice of either upgrading Windows 7 to Windows 10 or to install a Linux-based operating system. Or the third option, which is not very recommended, is to just stick with Windows 7, even with all the security risks. So let's discuss the first option. There's many talks around the internet about how to upgrade Windows 7 to Windows 10. Some people say that you need to pay for the upgrade, while others say that you can still freely do it. I'll provide links in the show notes to show you how to upgrade for free because it appears that Microsoft has not stopped any attempts to freely update the Windows 10. So the next option is to to install a Linux based operating system. A lot of people are saying how Linux is very difficult to use and difficult to install, but that's not the case anymore. When it first came out, yes, it was very difficult for people to use, but because of many support from the communities and many different OSs for Linux popping up, there is some that are easy to use and some that are very difficult. If you keep an eye out on the YouTube channel, I will be posting a tutorial of how to upgrade Windows 7 to some of the more popular and easier to use operating systems like Ubuntu and Linux MX. So that leads us to the third option, to just stick with Windows 7 even with all the security problems that will occur from the end of support. Again, this is not recommended, but if you want to risk it and not upgrade or change operating systems, then really the only options you have are to first install a a uh, antivirus. There are many different antiviruses out there, and if you review the malware series, you will see some of the more popular antiviruses software out there. It's just a matter of choosing one and installing it on the Windows 7 machine. The next step is to not install any other operating system software. The more software you install on Windows 7, the more vulnerable you become because some may have vulnerabilities that will make Windows 7 even more susceptible to security flaws. And 
it is vital that you don't introduce anything else to it. So right now, whatever operating system software you have on there is what you're going to stick with for the rest of the life of the computer. This will ensure that no new flaws get introduced. And it is vital to keep those software you have up to date as long as possible. And the last thing to do is to just be careful about what websites you go to. Some websites will have vulnerabilities that will exploit Windows 7 and some will be perfectly fine to go to. It's just using, it's just a matter of using the best judgment. As discussed in the malware series, try to avoid sites that offer you know, illegal things like free downloads of paid software or free movies for downloads and just stick to legitimate sources. And if you think about the many different ransomware viruses out there, they're mostly done through email attachments. So again, be very careful about which email attachments you open because some of them will exploit Windows 7 vulnerabilities. So keeping all this in mind, again, this is a big risk keeping with Windows 7, but if you decide to do so, I think following these few steps will keep you safer than not doing anything at all. My biggest personal opinion is to either upgrade to Windows 10 or to try a Linux based operating system. All of the links that we discussed will be shown in the show notes and again keep an eye out on the YouTube channel because I will be posting full tutorials of how to upgrade Windows 7 to many different Linux operating systems. Don't panic, and hopefully we'll see you in the next episode. If you like what was in this episode, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing with others. For more information, to suggest a topic, or to donate, head over to simplecyberdefense.com.